our communion with God translates to power. Yes. Communion with God translates with power. So, Jesus gave us a classical example. He stays all through the night with God that in the day he doesn't need to pray against Satan. He stays all through the night with God that it becomes not important to pray against Satan. You know? So most times if we are called into communion with God, we take it with levity. We take it with laxity without knowing that our true power is our power with God. Yes, when you hold the most time, you are high automatically. When you are cling to the most powerful, power rubs on you. So this teaching, um, this morning to this afternoon, has opened our hearts to dimensions of fight. When you hear a good fighter, what does he tell you? He's one who knows the weapon to deploy, when and how. And it was classically explained that different weapons for different situations. So don't use the weapon that is meant for um, the devil, don't use it for man. The, the weapon that is meant for man, don't use it for the devil. So our ability to understand that warfare is dynamic. It's dynamic. Even God himself was actually consistent in pushing this truth. He said, don't worry about what to say. At that instant, it will come. Meaning that if it is what you have memorized, what worked for Pastor Tobbe will also work for the other brother. You may actually find yourself in a mess. So God said, don't memorize what to say. At that instant, the ideal weapon will be deployed. 